known as Altair. The Berive B-200 is a multipurpose amphibious jet aircraft primarily used for firefighting. But it can also be used for search and rescue missions, maritime patrol, cargo and passenger transport. Having a capacity of 12,000 litres or 3,200 American gallons of water or up to 72 passengers. It is based on Beriev's previous design, the A-40 Albatross prototype, which we will also see in this new video from the World of Aviation's Aeropedia. The Beriev A-40 Albatross was a prototype conceived as a replacement for the amphibious turboprop Beriev B-12 and the land-based Ilyushin Il-38, for the role of anti-submarine warfare. The project was suspended after only one prototype had been manufactured, with the second completed up to 70% due to the disintegration of the Soviet Union at the start of the 90s. In 2002, following renewed interest by the Russian Navy, the A-40 prototype was restored to make it fly. And in 2006, the A-42 prototype, the second one that was almost finished, was completed but then they were cancelled again in 2011. But to satisfy the need for a smaller civil seaplane than the A-40, the design of the B-200 began in 1989 under the direction of Alexander Yapkin. The Russian government approved the design the following year. Beriev needed funds for the development of this aircraft and turned to the Irkutsk Aeronautical Production Association, which was looking to diversify into civil projects to help develop and build this aircraft. Beriev was responsible for development, design, system testing, static, flight certification and Irkut's tasks included production preparation, tool manufacturing, production of four prototypes and spare parts. Both companies are now under the state umbrella of the United Aircraft Corporation, which in turn is state-owned by the Russian Rostec. The manufacturer developed a unique firefighting equipment for the B-200, which allowed it to collect water while skimming the surface at a 90 or 95% of the takeoff speed. The first flight from land was scheduled for 1,997, but the first flight was finally achieved on September 24, 1998, and the first takeoff from water was made on September 10, 1999, almost a year later, in Tangarog. The second prototype, already designated as a series version B200ES, flew on August 27, 2002. This plane was built according to the specifications of the launch customer, Emergency Control Ministry, the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations. Another seven standard production planes were built between 2003 and 2011. It is a twin-engine high-wing design. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 38 tons and a range of 3,600 kilometers with internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed is 700 kilometers per hour and it has a load capacity of 12,000 kilograms of water. The aircraft can carry up to 12 cubic meters of water inside twice as much as the Canadian Bombardier 415 plane, without the need to return to base, collecting it from any body of water of sufficient size. It uses four retractable water gates to collect a total of 12 tons or 26,000 pounds of water in 14 seconds. There are eight sections that form the main water tanks and are integrated inside the fuselage, located beneath the floor of the interior of the ship. The water discharge sequence can be programmed or configured to be total, progressive or partial. It also has a tank of 1.2 cubic meters for chemical fire extinguishing agents. To load the water, it needs a speed between 160 and 190 kilometers per hour and an estimated time to complete it in 12 seconds. In theory, it can unload up to 270 tons of water without refueling.
The structure of this aircraft is built from aluminum alloy with corrosion protection treatment. Selective use is made of titanium, composite materials and other corrosion-free materials. It can operate from runways of 1,800 meters long or an open water area of at least 2,300 meters long with a depth of 2.5 meters and can even operate with waves up to 4 feet 2 inches high. The Beriev B-200 is a multifunctional aircraft that can be configured as a water-dropping amphibious firefighting aircraft, as a cargo plane or as a passenger plane. The cabin is pressurized and air-conditioned, allowing the transport of up to 72 passengers. It can be equipped for special missions. When configured as an air ambulance, the aircraft can transport up to 30 stretcher patients and 7 seated individuals or medical personnel. In the search and rescue function, the aircraft can be equipped with spotlights and sensors, an inflatable boat, thermal and optical surveillance systems, and medical equipment. In 2002, this aircraft participated in international aviation exhibitions, successfully demonstrating its capabilities to potential customers in France and Greece, with 15 demonstration flights conducted from land and 8 from water. It travelled over 7,372 miles across Europe in total. In May of 2002, Irkut and Airbus signed a Memorandum of Understanding to jointly carry out a market study. The two companies, along with Rolls-Royce Deutschland from Germany, plan to obtain Western certification during 2008 and 2009 and offer an aircraft with Rolls-Royce BR715 engines for the Western markets. This version was going to receive the designation B200RR. However, efforts to develop a version with this engine were interrupted because a joint study concluded in 2004 that due to this engine, it required a major extensive redesign due to weight and saltwater corrosion problems and it was not profitable. In 2010, the decision was made to move production to the Amphibious Aircraft and Seaplane Competence Center of Tangarok. The first plane built in Tangarok was delivered in early 2017. A total of 10 B-200 series have been built in this city. These planes used the same Progress D-436 engines that were built in Ukraine and in April of 2018, months after Ukraine banned the delivery of aircraft engines to Russia as a result of the annexation of Crimea, they agreed to re-equip this aircraft with a Russian Saturn engine, the Powerjet SAM-146, which is used for example in the Sukhoi Superjet 100. The hope was that the more modern SAM-146 engine which passed international certification, would allow these planes to be more fully introduced into the European and American markets. But in April of 2019, the Russian government opposed this project because the new engines contain components from North Atlantic Treaty Organization countries. Regardless, the international sanctions imposed as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022 prohibit the sale, supply, transfer or export of aircraft parts and aircraft technologies to Russian entities. The Russian Prime Minister has asked the state-owned Rostec to speed up work on its jet engine variant PD-8 of the PD-14 engine, which is used for example in the Lilbijin IL-76 that can be used in new versions of the B-200. Thank you.
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Marcos and welcome to World of Aviation's Aeropedia.